mountains are still being moved strongholds are still being loosed Lord we believe and yes we can see that wonders are still what you do bodies are still being raised bodies are still being raised giants are still being slain Lord we believe and yes we can see that wonders are still what you do we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you come and do what you do this is a move this is a move this is a move this is a move of God this is a move oh lift your hands and sing this is a move this is a move of God this is a move oh Lord this is a move this is a move of God we love you Lord oh we love you Jesus we are here we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you come and do what you do this is a move sing in church this is a move this is a move of God we love you Lord we love you Jesus we love you Lord we love you Lord we love you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, strengthen your people on this morning. Encourage your inheritance this morning. Bring strength from the Word of God. Lord, your Word says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the living God. Minister to your people on this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. We are continuing our series on power over demons, but one thing I want to focus on this morning is you have more power than Satan. <laughs> Glory to God. I said, you have more power than Satan. Listen to this. In the words of Christ from Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Jesus said, behold, I've given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. The serpents and scorpions are demonic powers. Jesus said, I've given you power to trample them under your feet. I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That's a loaded scripture. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Did you hear what Jesus said just now? He said, behold, I've given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all, not some, over all the power of the enemy. Your enemy is the devil, Satan, Lucifer, the adversary, a liar, the accuser of the brethren, the deceiver. Are you hearing me? Jesus said, I've given you more power than that lying devil. He is known as a serpent, a snake. He is a cheap, he is a cheat. Are you hearing me? He's a cheap shot. You can't take him for granted because you are no match for the devil apart from the power of Christ that lives in you. Are you hearing me? 
Listen to what Jesus said in Mark chapter 16, verse 17 through 20. Jesus said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. You remember he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. I remember preaching the gospel in Uganda. A man who had been demon possessed and left his wife 18 years prior to that meeting. All of the devils came out of that man in a meeting and guess what he did? He went back and reunited with his wife. You see that? So the devil is interested in destroying marriages, you see. But after that lying devil was cast out of that man and the man was set free by the power of God and in the name of Jesus, he went back and reunited with his wife and family. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover because when you lay hands on the sick in the name of Jesus, you impart the healing anointing of the Holy Ghost that's in your life and in your body. The Holy Spirit transfer that, transfers that healing anointing of the Holy Spirit and the sick are made whole in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. When we preach the gospel in Africa, miracles take place, signs follow. God confirmed the word with signs following. When we preach the gospel in India, here in America, in the Bahamas, miracles follow the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because he is not dead. Jesus is alive. Are you hearing me? After we get done preaching the gospel, then Jesus comes and preach because he confirms the word that we have just finished preaching to prove to you that what we are declaring is authentic and it's the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? Listen to this, Acts chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. The Bible says, And believers were the more added to the Lord multitudes, both of men and women, in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. So strong was the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God did such great miracles in Peter's life that even Peter's shadow carried the anointing. This is what I'm talking about. Peter's shadow passed over the sick and they were healed. Listen to what the Bible says in verse 16. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed, everyone. Wow, the power of God. Listen to, verse, listen to Acts chapter 8, verse 5 through 8. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. It was God working through Philip. It was the Holy Ghost working through Philip to heal the sick and cast devils out. Listen to verse 7. For unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with the palsies and that were lame were healed. And there was great joy in that city. Miracles are supposed to happen. God have empowered you and myself to cast the devil out. He is no match for the name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Are you hearing me? So you and I have more power than the devil. You should not be afraid of Satan. 
The Bible says in James chapter four, verse seven, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. You have more power than the devil. It's time to use your God-given authority. It's time to use your God-given rights. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You got to use it. Quit being afraid. It's time to rise up. We are here, my God, for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. We need a move. We need a move of God. We need a move. We need a move. We need a move. When we cast devils out again, where God confirms the word with signs and miracles following the preaching of the gospel, demons are supposed to cry out. They are not supposed to be comfortable in our presence or in our meetings. They got to turn people loose because we got power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. All we ask you to continue to do is support the work of God. You can do so by visiting us online right now, seanpinder.net forward slash give, seanpinder.net forward slash give, or you can give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75011. Dash 7442. And remember to join us again on tomorrow morning as we continue our series, Power Over Demons, when we are talking about anointed worship drives out demons. Never forget me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We care about you. We are believing God for your breakthrough, for your miracle, and for your turnaround. Join us again on tomorrow for another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Take care now. Bye-bye.